Hi everybody, my name is Farnas. I'm product manager of PTV Lines. This is the product and we just launched three weeks ago and I'm really excited to show you what can you do with PTV Lines, um, show you some examples, um, how can you use it, um, and um, yeah, before starting jumping to the product, I just want to tell you some information background um, about um, the reason why we um, um, started to develop the tool and for what the product is used for. For that, um, let's see. Here we are, um, PTV Lines. Um, just to say in one sentence, PTV Lines is the easy to use web-based cloud tool for the public planning transport services. So the main use case is the planning of your services in your public transport. And um, we have um, talked with several customers and they told us about their pains, the problems that they have. Um, they are struggling um, for the rough evaluation of the ideas before starting to go into the detail of the service planning scheduling, um, they want to have an easy tool um, to sketch the ideas they have. For that, and for the time being, they are using several applications. They're using Excel, um, ArcGIS, QGIS, um, also Google Map, even also they drive to the street to calculate the time and see what is the realistic plan of the service planning. And of course, there are some tools, even PTV has a tool for the public transport planning, but these tools are rather complicated to have um, to have the ideas be realized and see what is actually the effect of the changes in the real world with some clicks. Um, so that's um, also the other reason is that the complicated tools require the expert. The expert should be aware of the software, practice the tool every day, and this is what is actually missing in this um, field, let's say. Um, another reason why we started to develop the tool is that um, during COVID-19, uh, we saw that um, we have everywhere lack of resources. Um, also, short term decision had to make, be made over the night. Every day we had new regulation. One day that, the other week, um, and the regulation was changed by the politic. And this effort of the service planning is so complicated and so com con time confusing. Before COVID-19, we had the option to wait six months to analyze all the possibilities, to sketch all of them in the paper and see the good result. But now we didn't have time. We had to reschedule and re redesign our service network over the night. So that's why that we came up with the solution of the PTV lines. PTV Lines is designed for the public transport service planners, but also the operators who are involved in the early stage of the service planning and need to evaluate various strategic ideas before going to the detailed plan. So just give you an overview, what is the workflow of the software? Is that um, you need to sketch your idea on the map and then you see the impact of your changes in your service. Then you can evaluate your ideas based on data-driven um, analysis and um, at the same time see the impact of changes under your operational cost, which is really um, the side um, factor um, for giving a good um, service. And finally, you can compare different scenarios with each other and decide for the best scenario and um, transfer it further, share your ideas with um, stakeholders, decision maker, or export your data for the further analysis or actions. That was the main idea behind it. So I just jumped to the software. Here we are. As you see, PTV Lines is a web-based application, meaning that you don't need any um, installation, you don't need any hardware, everything is cloud-based. We store the data for you, we process the data for you. Only thing you need is um, internet connection and a web browser. You can import your data by importing GTFS file. If you have, in this case, um, I just want to show you some examples. Without ha having any data, what stops as infrastructure for the PTV lines, 
and I'm going to design a network and um, the schedule for that and compare it and she, she show you how does it work. So let's say I'm coming to Germany in, in Germany class where I'm living and I'm working in PTV. I'm coming with the train to the train station and I'm going with my bus to PTV, which is here. So I want to design my own buses, bus, which is uh, my PTV bus and give a transport system to that. Transport system is used to um, filter the cars, um, model different transport systems, and allocate them to different um, bus stop as well. So I decide for the bus, I choose a nice color for that, and I start to define the inbound and outbound line road. This time is I'm going from train station to PTV. And I can sketch my line. As you see on the map, I have some stops which are candidates for my um, transport system. The others are not um, available because they are saving other transport systems. I start from the train station, let's say here, and I zoom out and I go to PTV. Without clicking in the detail, I want to just um, system decide for me the best way on the street, the shortest path, which is also um, in, um, uh, uh, sufficient for the big car. Let's say um, we consider direction and the uh, routing. We consider also the size of the vehicle and all the restrictions which are affected to the big car, which is bus. So I have designed my line. And um, you see that um, from the beginning, we have the stop de detection, which shows that which stops are um, candidate and allocated automatically to your stop sequence. If you have several stops near each other, which is the case in the reality, and you have similar name, the first one, which is in the buffer of 50 meters, is um, decided, is chosen, and the other ones not. Also, the driving direction is considered in Germany. We are driving on the right side, so the right side is selected. And I, if I go on, you see also the other stops are selected as well. And if you decide that you, um, you are not agree with the stop, which is here, you can deselect it and allocate another stop to your system, to your um, line. All right. So I'm happy with my scratch. Let's see what is happening on the left side. On the left side, you see that the stop sequence has been calculated automatically. The distance is calculated between two stops and also the run time is calculated based on the speed that you have um, defined in your transport system. Uh, per default, we define 20 km per hour for bus, but it um, can be modified. Um, if I'm not agreeing with the runtime, which is calculated by the system for me, I can decrease or increase it easily. Let's say I run all of them a little bit up and down, and um, I want to say also that I want to stop at PTV at the end a little bit longer. This is the dual time, so I put like 20 seconds for the last stop. All right. So what is missing now is the scheduling. So I go to the schedule and I add the trips by saying that I want to have from Monday to Friday, um, as I go to PTV, I arrive between 8 o'clock and 9 o'clock. I want to have the, my bus every five minutes. You see that the trips have been calculated based on the headway and start and end of the trip. I can also define further trips by saying that from um, 9.05 to 4 o'clock, I want to have the frequency every 30 minutes, which gives me the number of trips 14. And meanwhile, um, all other KPIs for my service specifically for this line road has been calculated. 
So um, I have the service kilometer, service time um, calculation for year per time and distance, which can be also modified if I go to the scenario setting and say that I want to have another cost per kilometer, let's say two um, euro per hour uh, per kilometer, and also I can modify the um, um, kilometer uh, cost per hour, which let's say will be 45, and I, as I confirm it, the costs are calculated again. What I can also do is that I can define the um, the time of the calculation, which is per default for one year to another time. If I want, I can define it for one week by giving by saying that I want to have five days, Monday to Friday, one Saturday and one Sunday. And then if I confirm it, the calculation is um, for one week automatically calculated. So let's say this is the first scenario. I require three vehicles for each week for my line. And I want to try the second variant, which I name it variant two. It take a while. And in variant two, without changing, you see that I'm my, um, my copy. I don't need to change anything. I want to say that I want to, I don't want to drive this direction. I want to go through this street. So I select the section I want to change. And I take a bio point and you see that um, all right, it took a while to calculate the stop sequence and my, my new stop sequence has been calculated. The stops that I attach um, there has been detached. This one I attach um, per purpose manually so I can detach it also again. And my second variant has been calculated. Um, what I can do is to create the second variant because I'm aware that, uh, let's say, a new street will be built um, in front of the train station. I don't have the street on my map yet, so I want to create it on my own. Then same by clicking the shift, I want to say that this street exists and I want to go through this street. And besides, there will be a new stop here, which is served for the bus transport system. And I want to uh, that my bus stop at this point. All right. So you see, everything has been calculated. I have three variants, and I want to see which one is the best. So I want to compare my scenarios. So let's go here. I have my original um, bus stop and I have two variants here. And you see in the table, I have the KPIs I had before. I can compare them all together. I can see the relative values or absolute values for each KPI I had. Um, this is one thing I wanted to show you. The another thing is that to have a give big picture. So for that case, I want to show you Karlsruhe. Karlsruhe. Here we are. So let's say I have the whole network and I want to see the accessibility. Um, and also the other GIS data I have behind. So to see that um, if my um, lines are um, good enough for the requirement I have in the reality, let's say if I have um, census data, so I can show also the population here and I can see if my service is also good enough um, for the reality or not. Very soon, we will have also the catchment area analysis and isochrons with intersection to the population and workplaces where you can see if your network is good enough to serve the people or workplaces as well.
okay. Here it was a um, very short insight of my product. I'm really happy that you have been here. I will be happy to see you also in um, coming um, events. One of them will be UITP. We will uh, be at um, 4th to 7th of um, June there. I will be happy to see you there. And um, thank you very much. And um, I hope to see you soon. Bye bye.